That was a while ago. I've been under chiropractic care for probably some 40 uh, four years or so. But um, it probably, you know, when I was about 12 years of age and first started my period, I had extreme pain and from the very beginning, nauseated, just felt awful, missing days of school every month. And, um, you know, I would take the usual uh, whatever they would prescribe for me and nothing ever worked. I still was violently ill. Uh, then I went into nursing and I became a psychiatric nurse and an RN. And so then even more drugs were possibilities of curing me from these horrible, horrible pains. When my husband decided to be a chiropractor and uh, was telling me about chiropractic, I of course didn't believe him that chiropractic could help all these amazing things um, and, and that my body would be able to heal. I could not get that concept because I was a nurse and I really knew better. But, you know, I, after much persuasion, I decided to go for the first time to a chiropractor. And I went in student clinic at the time. And the chiropractor that saw me was so awesome at explaining the body's amazing ability to heal that I thought, okay, I'm going to try this thing. So after my first adjustment, I felt different, but I couldn't really pinpoint it. So before my next period, I probably got adjusted three times and had no pain whatsoever with that next time. And I was shocked. I had never experienced that in my whole life. Never. And I remember thinking, whoa, I didn't even realize it was starting. I, I couldn't believe it. It was like unbelievable. So I continued going to, to, to um, the student clinic. And of course, um, for those of you who know me, I've been under chiropractic care ever since, and um, my kids are chiropractors. It, it has, it's been a way of life for us. It hasn't been our profession. It has totally been a way of life. I was very active in sports. And what happened is that I was getting a lot of headaches because of some of the injuries that I sustained over the years. And those headaches led the medical profession to give me aspirin in those days. They didn't have anything like Tylenol, whatever. And I was at college in Bemidji on a scholarship and I was wrestling and I would get spontaneous nosebleeds. The coach finally got tired of it and decided to take me to the chiropractor. I got adjusted and after several adjustments, no more headaches. And therefore, no more aspirins, no more nosebleeds. They did with their hands what medicine couldn't do with their technology. I had my nose cauterized six times. That is the most painful thing that I've experienced. And therefore, I got turned on to chiropractic and at some point I knew I wanted to be a chiropractor. And here we are after 38 years of being in practice, I'm still passionate, still excited, and want to get chiropractic all over the world. I wanted to be a sound technician, I wanted to be a teacher, I wanted to be, there's a couple of things I wanted to be, and I thought I might, might, might want to be a dentist because I wanted to help people in the health field somehow. But never really wanted to be a medical doctor because that didn't really resonate with me at the time. Then somebody brought me to a career talk about chiropractic. And what I heard made sense. It was like, wow, the body heals itself. We just got to fine tune it, let the life energy flow. And so it made me want to become a chiropractor. So I went to see a chiropractor just to see what chiropractic was all about before I entered into school. And I mentioned in my case history that I had a lot of colds. And man, was I getting colds six times a year, about two weeks at a time, I was having colds, constant since I was a child and ear infections as a child. So I started getting adjusted and I remember one time I was scheduled for a regular adjustment and I felt a cold coming on that day and I knew when a cold was coming on it was going to be a full-blown cold. Usually I'd have to be in bed for one or two days to rest in order for it to go away. So I got adjusted, went home and the cold never happened. And I thought, that's strange, that's never happened before. And ever since that day, and that was over 38 years ago, 
back when I was 17. Ever since that time, I've never had the colds before. And when I get one, it might be every couple of years and it last a couple of days and that's it. Now, the other thing that happened is I've been wearing glasses progressively since age nine. And every few years, I'd have to go to the optometrist to get a stronger prescription. And after I've been under care for about three, four, six months, somewhere around there, I felt like my glasses were needing to be stronger again because my eyes were blurry with my glasses. And it was on my license that I had to wear my glasses. Went to the optometrist and the optometrist said, optometrist said this is kind of weird because your glasses actually have to be less strong now. And they actually came off my license and ever since that time, my prescription has never gotten stronger. And I have to attribute that to chiropractic adjustments. If it helped a deaf man regain his hearing, it, can, it could have helped my eyesight and I knew that's what it was all about. So that's why I love chiropractic and I really want to get it out there to as many people as we can around the world. I was someone who did not believe in chiropractic, did not believe in chiropractors. The only thing I knew about chiropractic is that it was for people with tall spines. It wasn't for short people like me. And uh, my first interaction with chiropractic, with real chiropractic, I might say, was that I saw something in someone that was very attractive to me. It was a lightness. It was a spiritual thing. It was a, an energy that I couldn't describe. And I thought, I want what they have. And when I learned that she was a chiropractor, it transformed my life entirely. I um, was going to do anything that she told me to do, basically. She said, I need to take some x-rays. I need to look at your spine. I need to see what's going on with you. Um, asked me about any pain that I was having. And I really wasn't having any pain. I had some headaches. And I, that was about it. Um, I didn't realize, though, however, that because I had had headaches um, every day for years and years and years, that um, the amount of medication that I was taking for it was adversely affecting all of my organs and my, the function of my body. And uh, when she said that, you know, all these things are linked, I thought, well, that for the first time makes sense. So uh, I started getting adjusted because my neck was completely going the wrong way. And uh, as a result, my headaches started to disappear. And some of the other symptoms that I was having were disappearing. And I started to feel lighter. I started to be lighter. I started to um, just experience just a total lightness about myself that I had never, ever experienced before. And uh, it really transformed the way that I thought about health, that I realized that health comes from within. It's not from a pill on the outside. Health comes from the inside out. And it really um, has been the lasting change that I've had in my life that I've needed for so long. And I really attribute it to just seeing the chiropractic light in someone else as being what attracted me to chiropractic. Hi everyone, it's so exciting that you're joining us. Uh, if this is for everyone in your office, then awesome, I'm glad you've all made it. If this is just for the leader in your office, then I'm glad you made it. And. Um, I think you've heard all of the stories at the beginning of this video about how each of us got our start in chiropractic. And I want you to think about you, yourself. How did you get started in chiropractic? What was the thing that stuck out for you? What was the impetus that allowed you to be encountered by chiropractic? So think about your story this week and think about the stories of the other patients in your office. How did they come to your office if you didn't have a firsthand experience with them? So this second video, it's a bit of more of an instruction about how to make a referral request. So as you're thinking about your own story, uh, we want to celebrate Chiropractic for the World uh, Foundation Light Up the World Week because September 18th is Chiropractic's birthday. And what better way to celebrate Chiropractic's birthday than to have a ton more new people who've never experienced chiropractic coming into your office. I realize more people can be more work, but it's way more fun. The most fun I think I ever had in an office was when we did a special friends and family day and we had over 42 new patients in one, one day. So two shifts. We went all through lunch. We went into the afternoon, into the evening. We had a barbecue outside. It was crazy super fun. But that's what we wanted this week to be for you guys is it's not a ton of work, but it's a ton of fun. And it's also exposing chiropractic to people who have never heard it before. So think of your story and then think of the stories of some of the people in your office. If you guys didn't exist, what would happen to them? Just think about that. 
I know it would happen to me, and some of you could probably have some of the same destiny that I would have had without chiropractic. So in doing your referral requests, it's pretty simple. If your patients are having re-exams, just ask them, hey, have we checked your family yet? If you have a new patient come in during the weeks leading up to chiropractic for the world week, ask them, hey, have we checked your family yet? And if you haven't, this is the perfect opportunity to just say, you know what, we've got a special day coming up where we're going to do all of our exams in honor of chiropractic's birthday. And it's also part of a fundraiser for Chiropractic for the World Foundation, who's helping to make available chiropractic to the world. Isn't that exciting? And just have a conversation with your patients about it. If it's a bit more complex, if you have a lot of patients that you've already checked their families, then ask about their friends. And if they say, I don't know, I don't know anybody, you could say, well, who do you work beside in the office where you work? Or who do you go to church with? Or who are the people on your street that your kids play with? Have they all been checked? And start to give them ideas and put faces in their mind of people that they love and care about. Because that's who we love and care about, is these people who've never had the chance to get adjusted. So in your referral drive, it's pretty simple. You give your patients one of those sheets that we had and write the people's names on it and say, they're gonna come for chiropractic's birthday. What better way to celebrate it than to have their spines checked? Obviously, this is going to bring a lot of excitement into your offices, and it's going to bring a lot more excitement, passion, and direction sometimes can happen out of that. Because you see how, reach, how far reaching one tiny little word can be, and one tiny little um, piece of hope someone can have, it can really transform their life. Each office leader is going to also need to set a budget. A lot of these events will require some additional funds and depending on the level of involvement you have, that will set your budget. So depending on if you want to do a lot of volunteer things, then that may not cost a whole lot. And if you want to have a lot of your office members, your patients and, and team members participate in making food, then that will reduce the cost in your office. If there's a lot of people who can go and get prizes that are donated, then that will reduce your cost as well. So consider all of these items when you're setting your goals and for your level, level of involvement, because that will also set what your budget can be. Talk, talk with your doctors about what it is that you're going to set out as a budget. And then um, also for your goals, how much do you want to raise for Chiropractic for the World Foundation? There are some offices that are raising $5,000. There are other offices, $1,500. So depending on what, how large your office is or how how much help you can get. Um, the sky's the limit, really. So set your budget and set your goals so that um, your involvement can be huge in Chiropractic for the World's Light Up the World Week.